Hey, what's going on guys? It's HD Monster here, and I'm sure some of you recognize this chamber from uh, my first few Portal 2 tutorial videos, uh, the ones where I went over portal bumping and the, the crouch flying glitch. Uh, in fact, that is actually why we are here today, is uh, I'm going to be doing a little update video on the CFG, or EXFU, I believe is what people are calling it these days. Uh, I like CFG better than that. It's, it rolls off the tongue a lot. It rolls off the tongue a lot better than than the other one. But anyway, uh, I figured out how to do some stuff that I didn't know how to do before. Um, I remember if you if you remember me talking about like how going backwards is the only way that I could figure out how to gain upward momentum. Uh, I actually realized something about how like Pocky and B Rex were doing it in their runs. And I figured that I should probably update you guys and for them for some of you that might be looking for the same information that I now hold. That was a very strange way of putting it, but that's essentially what I'm doing. So, uh, the main purpose of this is we're going to be going over how to uh, gain upward momentum. Uh, there's really only one way that I've found to do it other than bumping into something that's slanted. That that works too. But basically, you want to go, go into your CFG like you normally would. You stand still. You crouch, except for this time, instead of jumping or leaving, you uncrouch and just walk out and then jump. Uh, the way the reason this works is, uh, well, I mean, I can't really say why it works. I have no idea why this glitch works, but um, basically, uh, you're you're leaving the extrusion funnel in the CFG glitch while standing while standing, so that allows you to be able to crouch, and when you crouch off the ground. Um, physics and stuff happens and it allows you to gain all the upward momentum from your jump while still maintaining the the fly glitch the only way to break it is to uh, turn off the extrusion funnel or move your or move your portal unlike when you're uh, in the CFG while crouching you can oh, you can just uncrouch to get out of it uh, sadly when you're doing it this way you can't just crouch to break it. You have to. You have to shoot a new portal. But this does allow for some. This does allow for some nice things. I mean, personally, I think it lets you go faster, too. I might be wrong though. I think. I think you go faster off the start because you're a momentum from jumping. But uh, that's just. Those are just my own. My own thoughts. You can still do all the other things with the CFG in this, like when you go through a portal and come out of the floor, it makes you go retardedly fast. Uh, that's still that's still a thing. Main difference is uh, just instead of coming out of this crouch, you can uncrouch and come out of it, and and voila. Also, you don't have to be as slow as I as I made it seem in the first in the first tutorial. You can literally just walk up to this crouch and then come out of it that fast rather than having to chill there for a very long time. Except for I want I want I want so bad to be able to just go in there and then just do that and just be super fast about it just boom boom boom. Sadly, that doesn't work. You do need to be in there for a little bit of time, but not not as much as I made it seem in the first video. Uh, I believe that's all. I, I came across the glitch the other day when I was when I was running a map, um, and I instantly put myself into into a CFG. Uh, I haven't been able to replicate it. I can only do it on that map. It's a, uh, it's tough three. It's on my my channel. I did a speed run of it. You'll see it in the run. I I made sure to note to note it in the text in the corner, but uh, I haven't been able to figure out exactly how like how to replicate that in other maps. It doesn't seem to work, but um. Eh, maybe, maybe I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll be the first person to know how to instantly do a CFG and not have to jump or crouch or any of that jazz. But uh, that's basically all I wanted to tell you is that you can, uh, for those that don't know, you can leave an excursion funnel uncrouched and, well, that was a horrible example. But you can leave you can leave an excursion funnel uncrouched and as long as you're touching the floor, you can jump when you're in your CFG and you'll gain instant upward momentum. It's pretty nice. Uh, sometimes it can really mess you up because you can't stop your upwardness until you hit something. So uh, there's that. Also, yeah, the only way to go down is, as I said before, to break your portal, go through an emancipation grid which does break your portal, turn off the extrusion funnel, or uh, there are no slanted ceilings here.
but if there was a slanted ceiling you just need to hit it and then it'll propel you downwards at the same speed that you were going off of it if that makes any sense uh, it's like an upside down ramp think of it like that it's like say I'm going at it at this speed and I hit the ramp it'll more than likely send me angled downward at this speed so there's that for those that wanted to know how exactly they were doing some of these maps this is a uh, this is used in propulsion catch at least uh, one of the routes it's used in at least one of the routes. It's not used in Pocky's route, he does it differently. But uh, I remember the old routes on Propulsion Catch used this type of CFG so you could jump and gain a whole bunch of upward momentum and then just break your portal and fall down. But um, that's basically it. I don't know why this thing's glowing. It's probably because I'm actually in the uh, the chamber creator right now. I didn't feel like, like loading this up in an actual thing because I knew that this would be faster if I just loaded it in the chamber creator and then went to instant play or whatever. So... That is it for this video. Oh, that was way to break the combo, Blue Portal. And I will see you guys next time.